Okay, let's get started with creating a flight plan for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, let's log into your SimBrief account, and you need to do that by logging into your Navigraph account. Uh, if you haven't created that, watch the video on, the, on creating a Navigraph account. So let's um, do that with your Navigraph credentials. Let's sign in. Uh, after you sign in, automatically um, you will be connected with SimBrief. And from there, what we're going to do is to go to Dispatch and My Flight Plan. If you created a previous flight plan, it will be there as default. So what we need to do is just create a new flight plan. And once we do that, SimBrief will give you some default settings. So you need to start putting in your information like airline. Uh, this is all optional for you. Just creates a little bit of more realism. So you, the, the most important thing is that you uh, put in your departure airport. In this case, we're going to do from Dublin to Heathrow, E-G-L-L. -L. Okay, so if you uh, kind of hover on top of the little cloud over there, uh, you'll get the uh, weather for that uh, airport. So that gives you a sense of how your flight is going to be if you used real weather. So the other stuff is the date and the time. So then you want to select your aircraft. This is important. Um, so you, whatever you're going to fly with, just pick it from here. Or you can create your own aircraft uh, with the aircraft editor. We'll save that for a different video. So there's some other selections here, some optional selections, registration, flight number, things like that. Um, so, and there's some optional entries, schedule time, passengers. I always leave it in auto, but if you want to know how many passengers fit into that aircraft, you just go to the end of it and select your total number of uh, passengers and you can select your extra fuel and all that so most of the time you're going to leave this you know default uh, the rest of the um, plan here is just information it gives you a little a map of your route with the waypoints and you can take a look at that and then from there just go to the top and create uh, the uh, generate the flight plan on the dispatch options there you just click on generate that and it's going to override your previous flight plan i'm just going to say yes hopefully you've saved those previous flight plans so that's not going to be an issue uh, so once it's generated um, you're going to take a look at the whole flight plan that is generated by simbrief uh, it just gives you the, you know information about the flight plan the route uh the the bottom stuff is just basic um over here and at this point you want to um come in and select your simulation defaults so you can download your flight plan so in this case we're going to do flight simulator 2020 we're just going to click on download that's going to go to your download folder. Then after that, we can get out of there and head on to Flight Simulator. Just get that started. We are going to, at the same time, we're going to open FS HUD so we can link that flight plan to FS Hut. So once Flight Simulator gets opened here, you have to also um, open FS Hut and link that to your flight. So FS Hut would open in a different window. You just click on continue there and 
it will open and wait for the flight to um, start so what you can do is just select the world map And from the world map, what you want to do here is to click on space or um, click on more over here. And it's going to uh, give you a menu and you just select load and save. And then click on load from this PC. Let's get this out of the way here. Uh, so you go down to your downloads folder and or whatever folder you save that flight plan and just select it from that folder. Just double click on that flight plan. That flight plan will load into your flight simulator and will show you a little bit of um, the map here uh, of your route the same way that SimBrief showed you. Just click on fly. And flight simulator will load and you keep your uh, window for FS Hut open. So after uh, Flight Simulator is loaded, we are going to uh, load the flight plan into FS Hut. We're not going to use the um, ATC, regular ATC. After Flight Simulator is loaded, you're going to click on Ready to Fly. That will put you on the runway where. Uh, the selected runway and let's expand the FS hot window here and at the bottom you're gonna click on start SimBrief flight that's going to um, bring you to this window where you're going to input your credentials for SimBrief and FS hot will link to sim your SimBrief account and from there, you just click on Import Flight Plan. Once the flight plan is imported, you're going to um, take a look at the flight plan over here. Or it's um, in the flight plan window, and it gives you a graphical uh, representation of your flight plan, your altitude in your descent uh, from here we're going to click on start flight sim brief will load the flight plan and the atc window should come live with the um, beautiful robotic sounds of your ATC controller. Uh, flight plan um, FS HUT will bring you into uh, this window where you can select whether you want to um, move your aircraft to your parking space or uh, select a flight from where you are. Um, so you can click on number two which is will resume the flight from the current situation which will be your runway but you can certainly click on back to your parking space if you wanted to Dublin Tower, Zulu India Golf, Golf Yankee, runway two left, ready for departure from here um, we'll just follow the Zulu directions India of Golf, the flight Golf, Yankee, wind, one uh, control degree, and seven knots, we are runway, all set to begin our flight with the flight plan loaded in Microsoft Flight Simulator and using FS HUD. Thank you for watching.